you find yourself unable to resist the urge to yawn whenever you see someone else yawning? Have you ever thought to yourself, food tastes better when you're not the one preparing it? Are you irresistibly drawn to hold and caress an adorable kitten or a baby? For decades, studies have been conducted to shed light on the reasons behind these unique human behaviors. Join me as we explore five fascinating psychological facts that could help explain why, as humans, we feel connected to one another. Sharing a yawn with someone can help foster a sense of connection. Have you ever found yourself at work in the morning fully energized? Yet during a meeting, the person beside you lets out a loud and noticeable yawn and whatever you do, beyond your control. You just cannot resist the urge to yawn yourself. And you're not even tired. What is happening here? This is known as a response yawn. Various theories attempt to explain why yawns are contagious, with one prominent theory suggesting that response yawns signify empathy. Young children who have not yet developed a sense of empathy, or individuals on the autism spectrum, have a lower tendency to be overpowered by the response yawn. Food seems to just taste better when prepared by someone else. Have you ever wondered why a meal prepared by your mother, for example, always seems to carry that extra touch of flavor? In fact, food generally elicits heightened enjoyment when someone else prepares it. Assuming they know how to cook, that is. Researchers attribute this phenomenon to the passage of time. By the time you sit down to eat a meal you've prepared for yourself, the anticipation has faded away, leading to decreased excitement as a result of diminished enjoyment. There's a psychological reason behind our desire to squeeze cute things, whether it's kittens or babies or puppies. Most of us experience an irresistible urge to shower cute creatures with love, cuddles, and sometimes even gentle squeezes. This reaction is known as cute aggression. According to an article in the Frontiers of Behavioral Neuroscience, cute aggression stems from an overwhelming surge of positive emotion triggered by an adorable puppy or baby. A slight release of aggression acts as a balancing mechanism, ensuring that we don't accidentally cause harm to these innocent little beings. Even in inanimate objects, we seek human faces. Pareidolia refers to our tendency to perceive distinct and often meaningful images such as faces in random or ambiguous visual patterns. A classic example is the phenomenon of seeing a human face in the moon's surface. Scientists attribute this phenomenon to our innate sociability as humans. Recognizing faces holds such importance to us that we would rather perceive one where none exists than miss the opportunity to identify an actual face. tend to remember the beginning and ending of things and forget the middle. For example, have you ever gotten to the store and realized that you left your grocery list at home? As you desperately try to recall the items, you may find that you can easily visualize and remember the items at the beginning and the end, but items in the middle remain hazy. The Frontiers of Human Neuroscience conducted a study on this phenomenon, known as the Serial Position Effect. This cognitive bias that we experience explains why you may vividly remember the conclusion of your boss's presentation, but struggle to recall the details in the middle.
If you find yourself experiencing this phenomenon, it's perfectly normal, and it may not necessarily indicate a lack of attention or concentration. If you found this video insightful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more captivating explorations into the human mind.